Hey guys, Deviator here. In this video, we're going to go through setting up a basic material. Um, we're going to use this material for a particle system in a future video. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing we need when creating a material is a texture. Um, so we're going to import one of those. I'm just going to import mine into the texture folder here. Um, if you open up the texture, you can see what I've got is just uh, basically a circle and a gradient applied. I just used Photoshop to make this. Um, for those of you that want to follow along exactly, I will upload this texture somewhere so you can do that. Otherwise, feel free to use your own. Uh, one thing, too, about this texture is I uh, use a TGA file. Um, the nice thing about TGA files is they have an alpha channel, and you can use that alpha channel when creating opacity maps. It's really nice because you don't have to have two textures to create that opacity. So we'll just go ahead and save this here. Uh, I'm just going to save it as ring texture. Uh, if you come to the materials folder, uh, just right click, create a new material. We'll name this ring material. Uh, go ahead and open that up. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we need to change a couple settings. Uh, under blend mode, we want to change that to additive. Lighting model, we're going to set that to unlit. We want this to be two-sided, so we'll just check that box there. Uh, we're going to be using this for a particle system, so if you come down to Usage, it'll say Used with Particle Sprites. We'll just check that box. So the next thing we want to do is we want to grab that texture we just imported. So if you right-click and type in Texture Sample, uh, we'll get a note here. So if you pop back to the Content Browser real quick and just select that texture we imported, um, we'll go back into the materials editor here and we'll just apply that as our texture. Um, what we're going to do is we want to be able to manipulate this texture in the particle system. Um, so we're going to add a node that's going to allow us to change the colors. And that node's called particle color. Now what we're going to do is we're basically just going to multiply the particle color against the texture sample and we're going to plug that into our emissive and our opacity channels. Um, so we'll need a multiply node. We're actually going to need two of these, so if you just control C, control V, we'll get two of those. Um, we're going to plug the top of the particle color into A, and the top of the texture sample into B, and we'll just plug that into our emissive. Then we're going to do the bottom of particle color into um, a and we're going to come off of red here and into B. We'll plug that into our opacity. We'll just come up here and hit apply so we can see our effect. Um, one thing about the preview window here, you can click up here to select the uh, different shapes of meshes that you want to, to see your material apply to. I always like to use the cube that way you can get a good uh, 360 degree uh, of every axis of how it's going to look. Um, that's going to do it for creating our material. In the next video, we're going to go through applying this material to a particle system. Thanks.